Hey guys, G.I. Joe here, and uh, <clears throat> welcome back to my bunker, or at least my workshop down here, off of my bunker, uh, here in Atlanta, Georgia, and <laughs> um, I had some time off this week, got the week off actually, so I figured, you know, I need to actually start painting all these custom infantry that I've purchased here several months ago, so I'm starting with Germany, um, I've actually already done a sample and so here is my sample German paratrooper from Pegasus. And it's in the metallic black TS-40 that uh, General Hand Grenade recommended. So I thought I'd uh, kind of show you my process here. Um, as you can see, I've got three different boxes. I have my Africa Corps over here from Airfix. I have my German Army with camouflage from Caesar miniatures and then of course my Pegasus German Fallschirmjäger and I simply just have one of each of the molds so I have plenty more German infantry left and so uh, who knows maybe in the future a possible future giveaway will be giving away some of my German infantry here but uh, that's for a later date um, so I thought I'd show you the process I'm going to start with priming it I have three different types of primers here uh, this primer is to use with the Tamiya, Tamiya, whatever, and uh, it's great. It's a gray primer. However, this is not cheap. This is about 10 bucks. So I went with some recommendations from, I think, like Sire Blood and such, and I purchased two other things. Oh, I'm sorry. I purchased this primer, Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to use that here in a second. And then, of course, afterwards, after I paint, I've got this satin top coat to kind of seal it and so it doesn't chip and flake. And uh, the paint I will be using today is the Tamiya Color TS-40 Metallic Black. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna set this up outside. I've got some good ventilation going here so that I don't suffocate. And uh, I'll be back here after I prime them all. Okay, uh, once again, I have very good ventilation here. So if you're doing this, I recommend that you find somewhere outside to do this. There are a lot of fumes for sure. But uh, as you can see, I've already primed them all. And um, I tried to do a really, really fine coat, not too thick, because the detail on these uh, molds, especially here, you can see all the detail of all these, are very, very good. And I don't want to cake them too thick and start to, you know, take away some of the detail that are on each of these sculpts. So um, all I did over here I just kind of grabbed my primer and kind of show you what I did I just kind of did little spurts and sprays so for instance I would just kind of kind of this right and then I'd kind of go around to every angle like this make sure I get it from there um, and eventually what I might do after this dries is I might tip them on their side like this for, and try to get you know, maybe underneath a little bit. So um, it's going to be a, a slow process, and it's probably going to take all day to dry, 24 hours at least, because uh, it's about 60 degrees here in Atlanta. It's kind of damp. We've had a lot of rain, so uh, I want to make sure that these dry completely before I put on the actual paint color. Um, I made the mistake when I showed you my sample. Um, I was kind of eager to get it painted, and I painted before this was dry. And what happened was the paint seeped into the primer and you could see this gray whitish film. And so I thought maybe my paint wasn't working, but turns out I just didn't let the primer dry enough before I applied the paint. So I'm gonna let this dry good for at least 24 hours since I've got the week off. And uh, when this dries completely, I'll come back and show you me putting on the coat of uh, TS-40 metallic black. Okay, so we'll be back here within a day or two when I show you uh, painting the rest of this, okay? We'll be back in a, in a bit. Okay, so um, I've just completed the actual painting of my German pieces, and uh, as I said in my previous video, um, I did wait a day, 24 hours, for the primer to dry. Um, therefore, it didn't. Therefore, the paint would not seep into the primer and kind of give that chalky kind of look. So, 
Um, now how I painted this, the first thing I did was, of course, using my matte black here, TS-40 from Tamiya. What I did was I painted, uh, I did kind of did a spritz from all four different sides. So I'd go like from this side, then I'd kind of go from this side, and then from the front and the back. And then after that dried, as you can see, I have some little silhouettes here. I would lay it down like this and kind of spray it from the underbelly to, to make sure that it gets everything up underneath there. And then I turn it over on the back, or on the other side rather, and spray from the underbelly as well. That way uh, it kind of covers all of the surfaces and you don't see any of the primer showing at all. So um, now this is dried. So my next and final step will be to take my, um, my top coat here satin low sheen finish and I'm basically going to spray the top spray around here kind of both sides a little bit and this just kind of seals it so that uh, you know protects the paint coating so it doesn't um, chip and etc gives it a little bit of a sheen a low sheen um, that way when I put it into the tray and it's kind of scratching up against all the other guys that paint's not going to chip off. So um, anyway, so that's a, that's, a, that's my little kind of simple process. And uh, once this dries, of course, I'll, I'll spray all these guys down. And once this dries, I'll wait another probably day. And then I'll show, them, show you what they look like on my board. Okay? We'll be back later. Thanks. All right, guys. It's been a couple days here. And I think I have my finished product for my German infantry uh, to the left. It's my Africa Corps from Airfix. In the middle is the uh, German Army with camouflage capes from Caesar Miniatures, and to the right, my Pegasus Fallschirmjäger. Um, these are not all of them. I have some of them on the board already, which I'll show you in a second. But I want you to show you uh, the great detail from this TS-40 metallic black. They look great. Um, as you can see, the advantage of, of not only spraying each side, but then also spraying from underneath like this, you can ensure that there are no light areas or uh, uh, primer showing. So that's that. Of course, here are a couple of my guys from the German army with capes, kneeling Germany, uh, kneeling soldier, getting ready to throw a potato masher. You can still see the great detail. Um, and then of course I'll show you some of my Fallschirmjäger paratroopers. Great detail again when you spray from the bottom like this to come up from underneath you can ensure that you get all the under you know underneath all the belts and the canteens and all that so that there's no white showing. So all in all it took me about two days um, yeah uh, I primed them and then, and then I waited a day for dry, and then I, I painted them, and I waited about another day to dry, and then I put on the, uh, the coat, um, the satin top coat. So it's a, a, th a three-step process. Like I said, the, uh, the primer first, then the paint, and then the top coat, and then um, you have a finished product here. So let me uh, show you around the board a little bit. All right, and so here's what the custom infantry look like on my board. So you can see I've got, uh, I love this pose right here of this German paratrooper throwing a hand grenade. You see a bazooka. So now I have every single one of my infantry on my board, for Germany at least, are my custom infantry. Panzerfaust, you see a commander there in western Germany. See over here, got a couple guys. Got a paratrooper charging there in Normandy. And there's one of my Africa Corps guys there in Northern Africa. So, um, also wanted to show you uh, the only thing I painted is the infantry. So, um, you can see how close um, the, the other pieces are. 
Um, it's not exact, but it's so close you can't even really tell. So there's there's a there's a tank. Here is a uh, tactical fighter. So um, so I did not have to paint all of my other pieces, which is good. Um, might not be the case for some other countries such as the Soviet Union and such, but we'll find out. So anyways, hope you enjoy. Um, I might come on a little bit later to show you maybe my French or Russian infantry once I get those finished painted. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.